What were weird myths you thought about SX as a kid? I was not aware of the Vegina having an access to an inside before I hit puberty. So I thought SX was. Well. Anal. And that birth was basically shitting a baby out. So anytime I was having a hard time with number 2 in the bathroom. I would try to motivate myself that I'm basically practicing the pain for childbirth. And that it could be so much worse. In elementary a kid asked me if I knew what a condom was. I went ahead and described a nicotine patch. I had no clue what ejaculation was in 5th grade. So I though the thing went in and stayed there for like. The whole night. 7 hours or something. Whoever tried harder would determine the gender of the baby. Edit. I've been on reddit for I don't know how long but I never thought this comment would be the one to do it for me. Thanks y'all. Be safe. Sheesh. Then I certainly hope they were in agreement on who would win lol. I can't stop imagining a couple battle f-king to the death. That you just put your dick inside a woman and then the sperm starts flowing continuously. Like pee. Oh and that you actually have to push the sperm out yourself. Like pee. You learn to do that when you get old enough. And that involuntary ejaculations during night happen only a few times until you learn to ejaculate yourself. That. Since I have only one sibling. That meant my parents only did it two times. This is actually quite logical. Considering how a child's mind works. You'll go blind by masturbating. My sister thinks SX is two people laying naked on top of each other and talking about marriage. Depending on her age that's either really cute or really disturbing. SX lasts all night. Like you go into bed and then it is happening until sunrise. I had to. 1. My friend in elementary told me that your testicles were the actual seed. So you basically had to pass a walnut sized object through your penis when you had SX. And you only had 2 shots. I was terrified for a while. 2. I also legit thought the Vegina was in the front. Like the penis. Until I was probably 8 or so. When I was really really young. I thought the Vegina was shaped like a perfect cylindrical hole. This was before SX Ed of course. Everyone knows it's like a rectangular prism. Definitely thought blowjob was literal. Like she blows into it like a kazoo. Was racked with guilt about masturbation and wept dreams because of all the babies. I had a friend who thought the same about peeing. Also SX freaked me out because I thought she had like a tube or something in her vagina that was supposed to go in my penis hole. When I started masturbating. I thought if I kept doing it. My testicles would shrink to nothing. I thought women just got pregnant at a certain age. Whenever I pictured two people having sx. I imagined the guy doing the worm on top of a woman. As a kid I thought kissing on the lips made babies. And apparently so did a lot of other people. The guy stuck it in there and just kinda stayed there until the baby was made. I thought the baby just began making itself once you got married and the guy had to insert his dick while the woman was in labor to unlock it and let the baby out. I thought you literally could not have sx before marriage. It couldn't happen. The vagina would reject the penis like water and oil. I thought sperm were the size of tadpoles. I thought they shot out and filled up the condom like a water balloon and you would be able to see and hear them slithering and wriggling around. Needless to say I was scared of s all maturity for a while. All pubic hair is dark. Regardless of hair color. Semicolon. Semicolon. Even though. I myself am light haired. I was today years old when I found out this isn't true. I heard about sheepskin or lambskin condoms when I was a kid and for some reason imagined a guy wrapping one of my rabbit pelts around his dick and trying to get that into a woman. Never occurred to me they'd just use the skin and not the whole hide. Fully thought if you had sx in vagina it would be a girl and up the bum would be a boy. I thought gay people had sx by bumping their butts together. 
When I was 14 I thought an LSX was when a guy just fk your butt crack like literally just sliding his dick between the cheeks without ever entering any hole and I was so confused. Ah. Hot dogs on the back porch. I didn't know a Vegina existed. I never had the talk. Basically I thought that girls had nothing there and that to pee. A penis would come out of their butthole. I genuinely thought that until a friend showed me naked girls on the internet. Now that penis out of a butthole. When guys get hard ons. It was because it filled with sperm and if a guy couldn't get hard it meant he had no sperm. I thought any DV show I saw that wasn't a cartoon, or at least the majority of them, were entirely SX related movies or shows. Because any time I would ask my parents to watch them, they would say I wouldn't understand. And they also said that whenever I asked about SX related things. So I grouped it all together that anything that my parents told me I'd understand when I'm older was entirely about SX. Everything is PRN. I thought Titty F King was pushing your dick into a nipple one at a time. I thought that it was a painful experience and that it was actually not that simple to make a baby. It's almost too simple. I thought penises grew pubic hair on their tip. Like a lion's tail. I also thought all doggy style SX was an LSX. Wait. You guys don't have a luxurious mane around the tip. There was a joke in primary school that went along the lines of Q. How many animals can you get into a girl's fanny? A. One cock. Two bulls. And as many hairs as you like. Full stop. This confused me for some time. I thought oral sx was literally oral. As in. Talking dirty. I always thought homozool meant that you like to have sx at home. I was trying to sound cool at summer camp when I was around 12 so I told everyone I was homozool. All of the girls started hanging out with me and I thought all the guys were avoiding me because they were jealous. Realized my mistake later in the summer and never went back to that camp or talked to anyone there again. Msturbation will make you go blind. My 4 stroke 5 grade teacher who was 80 years old. How was her vision? When I was a freshman in high school, an older male friend told me a man's penis could burst if he didn't empty out his sperm often enough and got too backed up. I think he perfectly described a wet dream. I heard the word lesbian for the first time at camp when I was 8. And when I asked what it meant I was told that it was a girl who sleeps in a bed with other girls. I took that to heart and understood the word as a negative. So I was pretty uncomfortable with sharing beds at sleepovers for a while. Also, when she was little, someone I went to high school with believed that a woman became pregnant when a married couple put forth a formal wish to God for a baby. After a long time of begging her parents to give her a new sibling, they gave her the good news. She didn't believe them and made them wish out loud in front of her for a baby. Her mom had twins and she thought it was her fault for making them wish a second time. My parents were very open about SX and taught me about it when I was 4. Of course at 4 it doesn't all make sense. So I thought women only had one hole to do. Everything. I also thought that boys had periods. When I was 7 or so I got a cut in my ass. I needed a shti and accidentally cut my ass wound in the process. When I went to flush I saw the blood and told my dad that I was on my period. He was obviously confused. Edit. Thanks for the likes. Let's try get to 10k. This is the most popular post I've made by far. I thought that SX was about getting naked in bed and rolling around in the sheets. I am gonna explain to those replying to me. When I was a kid, my mom handed a book from the government which explained a lot of things. It showed a man and a woman naked, but with their parts covered in pubic hair, a lot of pubic hair. I thought that was disgusting. But, one day, I would have to have sx. So I thought, if when I sleep I wake up in a different position, if I got naked and slept with my partner, after rolling around in the bed I would eventually have sx. This way, I wouldn't have to come close to that disgusting pubic hair or the woohoo, as the sims call it. 
I thought eating a lot of food until you got fat got you pregnant. This was reinforced when people said they have a food baby. Edit. I used to go to chubby people and ask if I can hear their tummy. Edit 2. Thank you for the upvote sweet people. I thought I was dying during my first whole guess M because the church tells you you're not supposed to touch yourself. I even started crying. But I didn't tell anyone lol. That post nut hit you hard. The Vegina has a button inside and it is pushed to release the baby making stuff. So anything inserted could be the daddy I guess. A woman should have an orgasm as well to become pregnant. But in hindsight. It wouldn't have been bad if it were true. Twins are a result of having sex with a pregnant woman. I used to think the tip of the penis just lined up with the clit and it like suctioned I guess. IDK. I also freaked out and thought something was wrong when my labia started to appear and thought it was because I am sturbated too much and I was scared to tell my mom. She most definitely would have explained it to me if I had asked. Then a few years later at my first pap smear I asked the doctor about it and she had to explain to me what it was. When I was a wee lad I thought that bumming was two men stood back to back. Gently but playfully bouncing their naked buttocks off each other. Thought that babies were made by the kiss at the wedding. As in. You may kiss the bride. Boom. Pregnant. Also thought that you weren't allowed to kiss until marriage and this was why. Mini Tifu. When my brother had proposed to his wife to be. We had a little celebration at a local restaurant. They kissed during dinner. Which prompted me to look at her knowingly and say good thing you're on those pills huh. Wouldn't want to get pregnant too early. I was 8. One of the darkest moments of my life. That you'll just lay there and go wow. No way. There's definitely some cleanup involved. I thought eating a watermelon seed would get me pregnant. When I was in 6th grade I thought busting a nut actually meant my nuts actually exploding. Before I actually experienced sx. I thought you'd have to put the condom on your shaft and balls. That the tiny little urethra stretched open during labor for the baby to come out. Had no idea that women had a vagina. That if you removed a rib you could suck your own dick because of rumors regarding Marilyn Manson in the 90s. I was 7 I didn't have a clue what it meant. And had no internet to confirm otherwise. My friend told me when we were 7 that having sx was touching butts with a girl. Accidentally touched butts with a girl in the pool later and thought I had had sx. Took me a few years to figure it out. I saw the episode of Seinfeld where George wanted to have makeup sx. I thought they meant makeup as in the beauty products you put on your face. When he was struggling to open the condom. I thought it was the pack of foundation he couldn't open. So 9 year old me thought that people smeared makeup all over each other during sx. If you sat on a toilet seat with any pee on it. You'd get pregnant. For the longest time I thought it was genuinely illegal. I thought the condoms were like the black sensor bars on TV and wondered how a guy could FCK with that on. A girl told me M sturbation could give me cancer. My parents had 6 kids. All of us almost exactly 2 years apart. The logical 10 year me deduced that my parents had sx once, on their wedding night, and then the babies just started coming every 2 years. Getting told that the baby comes out of your butt as well as if someone put their finger in your belly button. Always thought how and why. Some friends told me that the penis works like a dog's penis. I. E. There is a smaller penis which is supposed to come out of the penis sack. I started crying thinking my parts are broken. The second was due to a R-rated movie I sneaked where they had their clothes on and were simulating doggy style. I thought at that time that somehow the butt was involved, did not know about the female anatomy back then. Obsessed with butts ever since. I thought them sturbation was playing with yourself so I just sort of jumbled my junk around with my hands. Didn't really work. Semicolon. I thought it took hours upon hours. 
that I could get some when I'm older. I don't know if this is related. But my mom told me perverts were people who stuck their schlong up your butt until it blew up. I had zero idea a penis actually goes inside of you. I literally thought it would just rub on the outside of me and then bam a baby would be made. Made for a very embarrassing moment when I was about to lose my V card. Nothing major. But I thought it was called Imagina for the longest time. You can pregnant from oral lol. Two guys having sx couldn't get pregnant. My friend told me that it was quite common for couples after sx to go to sleep with your dick still inside. Tried to do it before. Once it goes soft it slips out so it definitely won't last all night. I thought making love meant kissing someone on the lips and was worried I might be pregnant after another kid kissed me on the lips when I was 4. That you just put it in and waited. I thought the thrusting was just people being kinky. I'm sure this will get buried. But I thought that when a girl got eaten out it meant that you had to put food in her vagina and literally eat it out of her. MMMM. Peanut butter vagina. I thought sperm was on the outside of the penis so as soon as you put your dick inside of a girl it got her pregnant immediately. This is going to get buried for multiple reasons. But being a Zool. I thought it all was a myth. Or at least greatly exaggerated. Next time the SX debate comes up. Just show the people this thread. I had no idea what SX was. But I had a faint understanding of what a blowjob was. So I thought that when the girl swallowed. It went into her stomach and made a baby in her stomach. Which are the food she ate. Like a parasite. That it was something that made you mature. Married people have less SX. It genuinely makes me sad that this is widely believed because it happens so often. I have SX way more now that I'm married than I did when I was single. And have SX more often after about 10 years of marriage than the first year. I think if you have a great partner. And are a great partner yourself. It just gets better with time. I thought that couples FCK using belly buttons. Yet like the suddenly grows a penis when he wannies to FCK and FCK her belly. I was a really dumb kid. I thought that. Fapping was a term for gay SX. Meaning two guys rubbing their dicks together. A woman automatically gets pregnant exactly two years after she gets married. When I was 11 a friend told me that PRN means a male putting his penis in a female's butt. I always thought that in order to get pregnant. The girl's two nipples and the guy's two nipples had to touch at once. Not sure where or when I got this idea in my mind. Still gives me a good chuckle thinking back. Whenever one of the parties in movies goes to freshen up before activities. I always thought it was to brush their teeth for good breath. Nothing more. When I was hitting puberty I was exploring my nether regions and I couldn't figure out where the whole 4SX was. I had only ever watched softcore HBO PRN and I couldn't figure out where the guy put his finger. So I just assumed that when the time came and I was ready to do it with a guy that somehow his binky being near my clit would make it open up. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I thought PSSY was a delicatessen. I was at camp and the older boys were hanging out they found some chick that was giving it up. They kept talking about eating the PSSY and how it smelled good and all. You won't get pregnant if you have SX while menstruating. I was like 7 and was watching scary movie I thought SX made you go crazy I was a stupid child. I never knew the penis went in the vagina. I thought SX was done hot dog style. That you're supposed to blow during a blow job. I thought oral was. When you FCK someone in the air. Ah yes. Oral SX. I thought sperm was a cord like thing that snaked out of the penis. Navigate to the fallopian tube. And touch the egg. Then retreated back into the penis. This was also when I thought the penis just kinda stayed there in the vagina. A science booker read said the vagina holds the penis during intercourse. 
I used to think it was highly illegal and regulated by the government.